Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, weather in five, five days in five minutes as we have our storm that's going to be moving up the East Coast today with uh, a couple of inches of rain in many locations. Some places will get a less as you go south and west of New York City and Philadelphia. Some places as you go north and east of those areas could get uh, more strong, gusty winds along the coast. And those winds are going to pick up probably area wide uh, during the early morning hours and on the, during the day on Thursday as they'll be rather strong from the northwest. And after that, we can at least uh, move our way to improving weather conditions going into the weekend. Follow this along. Make sure you've downloaded the uh, my free weather app, the Meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app on Google Play or on the App Store. And also download uh, Angry Ben's free weather app, the Angry Weatherman, which is available right now on Google Play. So uh, let's uh, move along and See what's happening as clouds are increasing uh, up and down the East Coast. Uh, we can uh, see that's, uh, that moisture coming up from the south and from the west. We have a, a front with a low moving across the Great Lakes. And we also have, and you see it here on the uh, latest surface map, uh, with a low sitting up in northern Michigan, uh, a trailing front that goes well south uh, into uh, the uh Gulf states, and there's a low that is now developing down in North Georgia, and this is this low that's going to make its way to, to the Carolina coast and then gradually uh, move northward and intensify pretty rapidly late this afternoon and into tonight with uh, heavy rains. Here's how it looks on the wide satellite uh, picture and you, uh, loop, and you've got uh, still had that tropical feed of moisture uh, coming up from the south, and you can see that twist around the Great Lakes, and it really shows up well on the water vapor imagery. We've been talking about this for the last couple of days. This um, uh, energy that is diving uh, southeastward across the Great Lakes uh, is very well defined here. And you can see it right in there. Uh, that twist is diving southward, so this uh, feed instead of just running east northeast and out uh, offshore with little consequence here if you notice on the last several frames of the loop it starts to get wrapped around and pulled northward so that's so what's going to happen here is this upper low just kind of moves eastward and strengthens it's going to wrap this whole southern jet around it and bring up uh, moisture and a uh, fair amount of uh, rain and uh, here it is on the uh, rainfall amounts in terms of what we're forecasting rainfall amount wise le as a, again less as you start to go south and west of philadelphia and this is because of a, a matter of of speed and timing uh, but rainfall amounts will be on the order of three quarters of an inch to about an inch and a quarter down through washington dc and baltimore and then uh, those amounts will pick up considerably once you go north and east of philadelphia across northern new jersey uh, and through uh, new england where we're talking about uh, two inches of rain uh, probable, uh, also uh, two inches of rain across Long Island, and there will be some thunderstorms in the mix, so bear that in mind, so there might be some variation uh, in uh, some of the rainfalls that we'll be seeing, and uh, here it is on the radar starting to load up. This is as of uh, 8 a.m. Eastern time, so rain now advancing northward through Virginia, uh, it should be reaching uh, New Jersey by mid to late morning, reaching New York City by early this afternoon, and then running up into New England after that. So uh, what happens is that the low in the lakes is going to pretty much uh, transfer its energy over to a secondary low that's going to develop. And you can see it here uh, on the, uh, by this evening sitting right along the New Jersey coast. This is as of 8 o'clock tonight, the back edge of the rain will be moving fairly quickly. So the, it, it'll rain hard. We're talking about about six hours, maybe eight hours of uh, heavy rainfall here. And then the low uh, heads towards Cape Cod uh, as a rather deep 980 low. Might even be a bit stronger than that. And then those northwest winds are going to kick, kick in behind it. So we'll have southeast to south winds ahead of it. Uh, and then those winds are going to kick into the northwest behind it. We'll probably have uh, winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up into the 40s through the day on Thursday with leftover clouds and maybe a couple of leftover passing showers. And then finally on Friday, I think we're going to start to see the gradient relax a little bit and uh, some sunshine 
uh, will take over. The weekend's looking good. By the way, if you will uh, take a look in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico, uh, we are seeing possibility of uh, some kind of low developing there. The Hurricane Center is monitoring this for possible signs of development uh, as we uh, head into the weekend. Models are bringing up some of that rain into the southeastern part of the United States and running it up uh, along the uh, Carolina coast. And this um, area gets up into maybe northern Virginia. So this might mean for at least some high clouds coming into our area at some point over the weekend. But a lot of uncertainty with regards to that. I just wanted to stay focused on this first storm. And we will, of course, uh, be um, monitoring this throughout the day with the uh, latest uh, website posts. So be sure to keep in tune. And uh, if you're on the app, of course, you'll get notifications of, uh, of uh, any weather changes uh, that will happen throughout the day. So thanks for being here this morning on Weather and 5. We'll have our regular YouTube live stream tonight. And I might do it a little bit earlier. I might do it at 6 o'clock Eastern time. So uh, watch for uh, uh, your notifications if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. And Patreon members, you'll definitely get your notification about what time the um, live stream is going to be. Have a great day, everybody.